Hey guys, what's going on? Cyber Dark Wolf back with more Gone Home. I have not stopped playing this game. This is the third recording I've done in this session, and let's get right into it in this creepy ass room that we didn't go into last episode. There's a note right there! Really? Oh my god, I'm terrified. <laughs> what? Is that Katie? Is that what that says? Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer. But you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. What? Sam! Sam! What's going on? Where are you? Where's Lonnie? What did Lonnie do to you? What cult has she put you in? Hey Sam, you were asking what? What? The draught ribbons mean this is the handling, or this is a handy guide. Learning rifle team adventure training. Okay, so if we see those, we kind of know what it is. Yellow on it means orient. What is that? Orienting team? I'm not exactly sure. Orientering team? Not exactly sure. Rifle team's white with orange directly in the middle. The adventure team is orange on the sides. Or adventure training. That's Lonnie who wrote that. Huh. Okay. So Lonnie's been here. Sighting journal. Tall shadow in the upper hall when I was. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Oh shit, somebody's seeing something. Oh, and this is why I was gone, so this has to be Sam. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I, I said a hello. Did not. He probably was. Huh. In the fridge, it was spoiled. Pretty sure I remember if you can. Milk was just bought yesterday. Huh. Ooh, milk. Lonnie says she feels a presence. As I suddenly begin to feel cold. Okay, so they built the fort. They built the fort we saw downstairs. Huh. Oscar is definitely here. Uh-oh. Oh, Lord. There's something in the attic, and we know where the attic is. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. A bunch of boxes with my name on it. Oh, man, there's our first little thing of ghosts. Why was the door open? Why, oh, why was the door open? I don't know if you guys have seen the game Layers of Fear. Uh, I've watched a couple videos about that. Is there's a cassette. That's great. We should listen to it. Is there a cassette player in this room? There is. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Mm -mm. No. No. It's not that I feel uneasy about it. It's just very strange music choice. Oh, Lord. This room kind of gives me the creeps more than any room we've been in so far. Foreman's evaluation. Name Richard. What's that? Pattermitch? Janet. Oh, so my mother paints. Oh, well, that's nice. Nice job, Mom. You did a good job. 
I'd buy it. Why? Halloween show. The Misfit! Ooh! See you there. Don't forget your costume. Huh. That must be. Oh. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Yeah, I, I feel something going on with Sam and Lonnie a little more than what it originally was. Heavens to Betsy. Oh, oh, oh. Is it Betsy calculated for Sam? More than nothing can stop us. Me. Or whatever that's supposed to be. Decide. Stay right. Calculated. Waitress. Or waitress hell. Intermission. Uh, Axeman. What's that? Donating my body to science. And then, uh, something eight. I don't even know. As I apparently am hungry during this recording. Oh, a map! Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage. And it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Oh, we're going back to the library, guys. Skipping sixth. Ooh, man. Ooh, man. Oh, Lord. Uh, what is this? Oh. Oh, that's, that's, uh, concept art for Captain Allegra and the first mate. Your costume, my costume. Well, that's nice. Oh, look at it. Well, that's nice. That's real nice. You know what? Lonnie does frighten me. A little bit. But, she seems... Like, every time I think she's extremely evil, Sam's darkroom. Do not enter if red lights are on. Well, red lights are on. I'm coming up. Oh, Lord, it's locked. You know what that means. We're going reading. Wish there was like a like maybe a run button. Like a button to run would be extremely nice. We're going back to the library. Now that we know about this secret passage. Yeah, okay. Which way was it? Uh, we're in the foyer. Okay. It's this way. Yeah. Where are we right now? So we go past Dad's office. So through Dad's office into the library. And Dad's office is open again. No, I think I closed it. I still think that combination is JFK. JFK's assassination. Where is so is it up? Over on this corner that is conveniently empty. Um. We're gonna drop that for now. And we're gonna look at this. The Misfits. Saturday, October 29. Plus special guest Maidenhead. I know the Misfits. Well, Misfits. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. Okay. In the dark, 
She smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so... I don't know. Nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me. And was so close. And whispered in my ear. I really like you. I just nodded my head. And I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Well, that's nice and all, Sam, but I'm still questionable of her. Oh! Okay. Okay, I'm totally, totally creeped out right now. This. No! Don't close it! Don't open it back up. That is writing. Why can't I fit? In there. I'm supposed to be able to get in there. Come on. There's the fun in this if I can't get in. Ah. I just don't think I was. Yeah. Okay. Uh, lights, please. Oh, okay. String. Still creepy. Still really, really creepy. There really had to be a crucifix. My cat sneezed conveniently at the exact time. The light went out. Really? I grabbed the crucifix and that happens? Ghost Hunters, Sam and Lonnie secret house investigation. Library, upstairs hall foyer. So there's three hidden things. There's one in the library that we found, and that's where she put the thing. There's one in the foyer, over by Dad's office, or it's a little past Dad's office. There's one in near her room, the upstairs hall. Okay, we'll have to remember that. Okay, well, never mind. It's been marked on the map. I'm gonna take this crucifix with me. <laughs> I'm taking it with me. I mean, I know it's uh, for God to love the world. I think that he gave his only son. I think it's that. Yeah. I will say, if like the light hadn't gone on, if the light hadn't gone off when I picked up the crucifix, it wouldn't be as frightening. But it was conveniently when I picked up the crucifix. Okay, well, uh, uh, thanks, Th thanks for the, thanks for the invite. That's that's terrifying in there. That place is terrifying. <laughs> okay, there's uh, there's a compartment close by here, right by Dad's office. Okay. So it's right here. Okay. Right there for now. Property of Sam, private. Oh yeah, so it's 51. Uh, full term power. Okay. Sam's locker combination. Heaven at the edge of the world. Green Glacier, part two. Oh, 9 through 8, private. Do not read. Oh, this is the continuation of the story. I'll probably go back and read this at some point. Uh, but for those of you who want to read it right now, you can go ahead and read it. Just pause and take a read. Oh, man. Sorry if I went a little fast and you have to kind of frame by frame it, but... Where's the other one? The other one was in the upstairs hall, right? No, yeah, because we already got the library one. Upstairs hall, right by her room. Oh Lord, I get the chills now playing this. Um, Dad's room, 
Sam's room. So it's across the hall from her. Is it one of these or... Okay, no, it's on the other side of her room. So it's the other door. Oh, found it! Oh! Yep! Mm hmm Yeah, yeah, no, uh-uh, no, mm-mm, no, 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 no. I've got a thing that I don't like about Ouija boards. I just don't like Ouija boards, in case you guys are wondering why I'm freaking out. I don't like Ouija boards. I'm cool with most paranormal stuff. So it's 051. Okay, we now know that. We can now break into our locker. Hello? It's me. So, they asked hello, it replied with hello. They asked who are you, it replied with Oscar. They asked what do you want, and apparently Oscar wants to come back. Oh uh, no, no, putting it back, putting that back, nope. 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 At least there's no playing chat. If you don't know what a playing chat is, it is the thing you put on top of the Ouija board and put your hands on to make a move. So, uh, zero. Fifty. One. Well, hello there. Okay, Jen Doherty, nice magazine. Gosh, Sam. I like that, uh, like, certain things you look at and it's the dialogue of Kate. I like that. That's really good. Oh, someone's been smoking. I do not, no, no, I, I don't atone to that. I mean, do with what you wish. Sam, you should not be smoking. It's bad for your health. We know she's got uh she's got that magazine, which is a nice to the eye. Other than that, there doesn't seem to be anything here. We are missing something. She stole these uh these shirts. Uh they still have the tags on them. That get removed when you pay. Okay, Sam, Lonnie's Lonnie's taking this a little too far. Okay. I want to know where they where they mess with the Ouija board at. There's got to be something. Oh, there is more. There's a key. Basement. Lonnie came over today. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... Oh, oh is she going to say the three words? And that's when she kissed me. Oh, I knew it. I knew they had a thing going on. <laughs> a little maniac laughter there. Okay, so, well, this is Lonnie. I'll say this. She doesn't look doesn't look bad however you can't judge a book by its cover right she could be a bad apple we don't want our sister Sam dealing with bad apples looks like she's dealt enough with them okay so we've got the basement key and you know what I'm, I want to keep playing we're about the 20 minute mark close to it And I'm going to keep playing that is not the way to the basement. <laughs> this game. I'm still unsure exactly where it's going. If 
like something bad's happened, I just get this dread. There's just this feeling of dread I have right now. I don't know why I'm feeling so much dread, but I feel something terrible has happened. We now have this thing. They've opened up the can of worms with the Ouija. There's a lot of crazy stuff that's going on right now in this house. Okay, guys, to the basement we go. Oh, Lord. Well, it looks a lot like that room we found. Please don't cut off. Please don't cut off. Wait. Cobwebs. Great. Great. Oh, Lord. What the? What is this? Oh, potato chips. Potato chip. We got Judy's original. Never had her. I'm a route. Uh, route type of guy. We are. Oh. Oh, forget that in can. Dear Samantha, I would like to sincerely thank you for having me to your bone. Oh, they were uh, writing very fancily. Cordially yours. And friend and confidant. Oh, I need it. De Soto. Allow me to take the viewing kind for being such a generous host. Oh, yeah. Madame Samantha Greenbrier Esquire. Okay. I get what's going on. They're, they're, they're having a lot of fun with like a lot of things they're doing. And I understand that something. Either Lonnie did something. Or Sam did something. Something wrong has happened. I don't know what. Something bad happened. I don't know who did it. I don't know what exactly happened. Something wicked this way comes. I just had Sweeney Todd. Images float through my head when I saw that. I'm not going into fire. Blue ribbons. Oh, I can't leave the ribbons. First and science fair. That's cool. It's a bunch of our bunch of Kate's boxes. K is for kind. A is for amazing. I is for intelligent. T is for talented. Left is for left or left-handed. Lighthearted. I is for important. N is for nice. Oh, that's that's nice. Well, this is interesting though. All of this is Kate's stuff. All of this. So is it possible that? Oh man, one of my old sex ed assignments. It's the same assignment, but I gotta check plus. Wait a minute. I didn't entirely read the other one. Maybe you guys did and you could let me know. Probably should have read through the uh, assignment that Sam did. Is it possible that she just cheated off my assignment? I'm wondering if that's what it is, or if it was something mildly disturbing. That's, oh, Lord, man. The, the tale that is being weaved right now is insane. I love these type of games. So into it right now. I really don't want to stop playing. Well, we're getting close to the deadline, but we're going to keep going right now. The sound effects are great. I want to know the combination of Dad's filing cabinet, though. I'm still entirely intrigued with that. There's the breaker. Oh, you got to kidding me. There's a book. Oh, that reminds me of the Evil Dead for some reason, even though it's not made of skin. Everything is just screaming old school horror movie right now. Oh, Lord, we just found a ladder. Lamp. 
Reed College. Congratulations, or, uh, yeah, just Smith, congratulations. I'm pleased to inform you your admittance to the creative writing, or to the creative writing track program. Oh, she made it! That's great! That's great! Good job, Sam! You have much to be kind of the best new blah blah to do 75th. Wow. 75th the summer program. Let's do it. Hmm. Forward to having you. Huh. So she made it into it. I'm wondering. Oh. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. Oh. I was like, ship out? Oh, so she was in the military. She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Interesting. Okay, so she was actually in the military, so she left. Uh, Richard Greenbrier. PhD. Ooh, granddad was a doc. University of Oregon Press. Complete hmm. understanding. Sorry, Dad. I'll put it back. Or sorry, Granddad. I'll put it back. Okay. I'll tell you, man. This continues to get crazier and crazier as we go along. Oh, it's a stamp. Gold heart pen and two halves combinable with ten letters, names, dates, initials. Anything you drop. Guarantee she gave her that. They each have one. They each have one. Yep, L plus S. Lonnie and Sam. Oh my god, this is getting insane. Oh, where is it? it they've got to be hanging around here somewhere, those things. Those two are not around it. Why is the book here? Accidental Savior. Whoa! It's the publishing company. No. Oh, it's it's Granddad. He was saying how proud he was. Oh, that's nice. Granddad, you're awesome. Citizenship? Oh, so she wasn't a U.S. citizen. Oh. Well, there's that storm again. Just gonna throw stuff around here. Oh, God. I'm telling you, it's creepy as hell in the basement. And you know what? I think we're going to be doing a long episode today. I think it's going to be a very long episode today. I'm really into this. I want to at least get through the basement before we stop. Well, that's a pretty picture. Hey, Sam, I'm writing to you. Wait. I'm right here from the Maryland Falls. I'm on a stupid class trip. Which is stupid because it's what? Huh. Oh, this is from Lonnie. It's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Okay, wait, well, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit, thank you. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips. Got a sense of humor. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side mm -hmm. paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. 
But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Oh, damn. You know, mom and dad don't know. Psycho house girl. The coolest stuff about being the psycho house girl. Cool thing number one. Everybody in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of. Okay. Costumes, skeletons, and devils. Cheerleaders from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. What's that for? That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were so loud. We heard that! That's exactly what you These are the journal entries! What? Oh, Lonnie. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? about who she is she said they don't need to know what they don't need to know like it was no big deal this from the girl who trashed her locker to like defend my honor i've learned when to stop arguing though i don't think lonnie even gets lonnie sometimes well that's interesting so she's lying to the army I'm telling you, this story continues to just get crazy and crazy. Warp dead chips. That's pizza. There's no pizza in that one. There's a cassette somewhere around here, and I want it. I want that cassette. Where the hell's that cassette? Somewhere. Oh, what did I say, guys? What did I say? Lonnie's band. Okay. Okay, and there's nowhere to go here, so we're going back down. That was up. This. There's so many just like secret rooms. Since pharmacy changes hands. Oh. Oh, under new management. This must have been after his passing. Interesting. Either that or that's what caused his passing. Maybe. Oh lord, this whole stuff's intriguing as hell, and we are highly past the normal time. So you know what guys, I said we were going to have a longer episode, we're going 45 minutes today. We're going 45 minutes. Yolanda. So must be your full name. Huh. So there's more just Lonnie talking to her about everything. Oh, she must have been sick or something and just not going to school.
wonder why they were just writing the letters. That's interesting. It's interesting. Grab the button. Let's race back. Put it back down. There's a cassette. You guys know what that means. I gotta get that cassette. Find that cassette. Bet you it's under the pillow. Nope. And it. Oh, well, if my phone goes off. I'm gonna check that here in a second after I'm done recording. Library study stairs to basement. A music room. I've been in the music room yet, so the study's dad's office. Murder Hill. We haven't seen the music room, I don't believe. Or if we have, that's been changed. Oh, there's a greenhouse. We haven't even been towards that part of the house yet because it's locked. Let's uh, stop that. No offense, Lonnie and her band. Oh, look at this. Let's go. Set list. Role model authority. Main squeeze. Telling stories. First mate. Mission denial. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. I just took a I took a guess that was 1963 because the assassination of JFK situation. Now, what do you know? What is with all this stuff? These are pills. Aquatilly. Or whatever. So this was the Oscar return to sender. Oh, that's a lot that I'm probably not going to read. It's too Oscar. Who knows what it could have been for? Oh, God. Oh, God. What are you. What was he doing? I'm happy that uh, that worked. Oh, I'm standing in the way. <laughs> it's dark. Oh, it doesn't work. All I see is firewood in here. And a creepy toy. Something, something wicked this way comes. I feel it. Something went wrong. I don't know what it was, but I swear something went wrong. Maybe there's another syringe. Does bottle have anything on it? Hydrogen peroxide. Well, that's not abnormal to have. Oil of clove. No idea what that is. It's more of that one stuff? No, this is uh Billerin. I'm not sure what that is. Huh. Sure as hell say, things are getting extremely interesting. 
one more look in here before I think we call it quits for today. We've hit close. Minutes. That it, it it it's not just me. You guys, oh, I hope can see that if it's not too dark on screen. That doesn't look like a legit wall. Not to me. Can't see it, so I'm gonna have to open the door. Oh. Put back. Open it. Grab it. And we'll come out here and we'll light and read it. Oh. More stuff for uh, Oscar. Huh. Interesting. So it's. Like, stuff that he needed. And we're going to take this out and see if there's anything on this. Nothing, nothing readable. I think that might be everything that's in here, sadly. Huh. Well, that's disappointing. Of course, oh, it doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work. Well, we now know something's up. Something's up with 1963. I'm just saying. I don't know what possibly the other combination could be yet. But we're definitely going to get back into this game very soon. I'm talking, I may record another session tomorrow and i hope you guys are enjoying this as much as i am we're gonna call it quits for today let's let's go ahead and just save and quit yes well there we go back at the home screen i hope you guys have enjoyed this game as much as i have so far because i think we're just scratching the surface of what this game has to offer so far what is going on with Sam? Like, how far does this go? What do they know about Oscar with that Ouija board and all that is still to be answered. Where's the key to the dining area and all that? There's so much that needs to be answered, guys. And we just have yet to figure it out as I have to... It's terrible to happen in the, end, in the outro. I have to actually plug in my computer. But nonetheless... I'm excited to see where this continues. I don't know about you guys. It not This game not only gives me the chills the way I like it, but it, I'm just so entrenched in this story. Remember to subscribe if you're new and you enjoyed it. Remember to like if you enjoyed it, plain and simple. And comment what you think is going on because I can't... I. I want to hear what you guys think is going on with this whole thing. Did Lonnie do something? Did Sam do something? What is going on? If you have played through the game, no spoilers, please. But I will see you guys next time. See ya.